Hi, I'm Adam Crowder. I'm a software engineer here at Dragon Chain, and today I'm going to be showing a demo of how we can use Dragon Chain's uh, cron scheduling feature to automatically invoke a smart contract to contact an oracle and selectively ledger data on a chain. Uh, traditionally, with other blockchain solutions, having an oracle put data onto the chain is either tedious or complicated, but with Dragon Chain, it's a, essentially built right in. So let's go ahead and jump in here and take a look. So for this demo, we're just going to be using an open weather API to grab the weather in Seattle here. Now, uh, if in the real contract, this could be any endpoint you want. This could be a self-controlled JSON endpoint or uh, really anything. Uh, we're just using this weather as an example here. And let's say with this weather, we want to selectively take a snapshot of this weather and ledger it to the chain depending on the humidity. So we can see that this gives us a humidity percentage here. So uh, let's go ahead and make a quick little shell script for this. So first we need to grab the weather here with that HTTP call. And now let's selectively get the weather. We're going to pipe it into JQ, which will let us grab just the humidity from this. And let's say if that weather is less than 50%, then we want to output the weather. Now, uh, Dragon Chain smart contracts just use standard in for input and standard out for output. So a simple echo here will uh, act as output for our smart contract. And let's say uh, if our threshold isn't met, then let's go ahead and echo out some JSON with this reserved output to chain key here. Now, what this key does is if a contract runs and the chain sees JSON with this output to chain set to false, then nothing will get ledgered to the chain, no transaction will be created. That way we don't have to clutter down uh, the chain with unnecessary data that we don't want. So that's really it. So let's go ahead and run that shell script. And we can see the humidity is actually over 50% right now, so we just get output to chain false. In a contract, this would essentially be a no op, but if we go ahead and edit that and change it so that it's uh, outputs if it's greater than 50% and rerun that contract, we can see now we get a snapshot of that weather that we grabbed from the API. So to put this into a uh, smart contract on Dragon Chain, we just need to put this into a uh, Docker container. So that's real simple. We're just going to go ahead and create a Docker file. Now we're just going to base this on Alpine Linux, a nice small Docker container that can run our shell script. And we're going to need to make sure that we have curl and jq installed in this because we use that in the script and then copy the actual shell script itself. Okay, so that's really all we need for that Docker file. Now we can go ahead and build that. So a simple Docker build. Give it a tag. And our Docker container is now built. Now we just need to push this up to the cloud. So in this case, I'm just going to push it to Docker Hub, and then our chain will be able to grab it. OK, so our container is now up in the cloud. We can uh, make sure that our container actually works by running it real quick. And we just need to tell it to run our shell script. And we can see we do still get the same output. So now all we have to do is add this to the chain. So I've already got a level one chain up and running. And if I run our, use our command line tool, DCTL, and check the status, we can see my chain is running. So now we can just use it to add that contract. So let's go ahead and do DCTL, contract create. We'll give this a name. So we'll just name it Demo Oracle. And that Docker container that we just pushed up. And then the command that we wanted to run is shell, and then with the argument of our contract itself. And now we can add this optional uh, tax C flag, which allows us to put in any cron expression here. Now, uh, the chain, uh, when adding this contract, will automatically invoke this contract according to the cron expression schedule. So this allows us to let the chain automatically check ba back in on the Oracle for us. So in this case, we're just going to do a real simple cron expression, just five stars, which just means invoke every minute on the minute. Uh, but this could really be any uh, cron expression that you want. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And now we can see that our contract is creating on this chain. So if we go ahead and copy that ID, 
we can actually uh, do a contract get and make sure that it's up. And we can see that our contract has actually already uh, been created and gone into creation success. So now when the minute rolls over, we're gonna go ahead and see that it has created a transaction. Uh, so let's go ahead and write that query to be able to pull this transaction. So again, we're gonna use DCTL transaction query. We're gonna pass in the queue flag so that we can do a Lucene query. And we just want to check for demo Oracle transactions. So it, the minute hasn't rolled over yet, so if we do this query, we can see there are no results yet. But if we just give it a couple seconds here, it's about to go over. Now we do this query again, and we can see that our transaction has actually already been created. So the minute rolled over, uh, humidity was over 50%, and so we can see that this transaction was created, and it does indeed have the payload, which is the, uh, the snapshot of the weather. Now this has also been included in a block, so we can go ahead and copy the block ID and use DCTL to get that, and we can see, yep, this has been put into a block, which means this is going to be going through Dragonet as we speak, and uh, that'll be pin, pinning its uh, state in the network, and then eventually uh, getting to level fives and even uh, pinning this state on public blockchains as well. So uh, with that, uh, we can uh, use this query, uh, because everything's JSON, use something like JQ to pull out individual results. So if, uh, a query like this will let us always pull the latest result where the uh, weather was pinned from our contract and uh, really anything else that you'd want to do. So uh, that's really it. That's how simple it is to have a chain Oracle data for you. And uh, yeah, good luck and uh, happy coding.